Okay guys, super quick tutorial on how to do the sky dome. So I've got a simple little scene here, I've got a floor and an object, a teapot in here. Um, and all I'm going to do is go into 8 on the keyboard and that will bring up the environment. Um, and then in here we want to use an environment map. So I'm going to click on use map, click on none and then go and find whichever one you've downloaded from online. So they're quite simple to find if you just search for HDR sky dome in Google and you'll come up with a few that will, that will pop up. Um, what you want is a high res one. So if you click on tools here go to this option where it normally would say any size and change it to large and then make sure that you get um, higher pixel maps. Okay, back into maps. So once you save that one from online, click on where it says none and then go to bitmap and go and get the image that you just downloaded. So I'm just going to quickly find that one. <clears throat> then open up your material editor. It will normally look like this. Click and drag your map straight into the material editor slot. If your material editor doesn't look like mine, it will probably look like this. Then you simply go to modes, change it to compact, and then drag that one into the first sphere. Make sure you choose instance, click OK. And then here, environment needs to be ticked. It should automatically be because it's coming from the environment map slot. And then make sure that here it says cylind uh, cylindrical, no, spherical, sorry. Lastly, um, I like to turn mirror on and then change the V to 0.5 um, and it gives it a 50-50 split of the, of the um, sky dome. You'll notice some of the ones that are on um, Google are only half anyway. It's because people do that. They take one half and they split it and copy it onto the other side. So that's what I'm doing here with the one that I've just chosen. Um, <clears throat> once that's done, you can um, close the material editor, close the environment and then simply go up to views at the top, come down to viewport background and choose environment background. And it will automatically pop that environment in the background and it should rotate when you rotate your scene. That's it.